Hello and welcome to Baby Lap Time with the Edmonton Public Library. My name is Rena, and I'm going to be leading this class today. Before we get started, we're going to run through the guiding principles here at Edmonton Public Library. The first is to stay safe. We're trying to keep you safe and us safe today by having this class virtually instead of in person. We can't wait to have you back in our spaces when it's safe to do so. The second is to have fun. So we hope that you will have fun at home. Get silly, make funny faces, just really engage with your child. The third is to go with the flow. If your baby isn't in the mood for this class today, if you need to take a break, all of that is okay. Do what works for you and your baby. Okay, now it's time for us to clean up. I have a little bit of a mess here on the floor in front of me and we wanna make sure that our space is a safe space to play in. So I'm gonna grab my bucket and we're gonna clean up. Clean up, clean up, everybody everywhere. Clean up, clean up, everybody do your share. Oh, still got some toys to clean up. Clean up. Clean up everybody everywhere. Clean up, clean up, everybody do your share. All right, I think I've tidied up my space. I hope you've tidied up your space. And now before we get started with the songs and rhymes, there might be a couple of things that you'd like to grab to help you out today. So the first is a shaker. If you have a shaker, you can go and you can grab that. It doesn't have to be an egg shaker. And if you don't have a shaker at home, you can even just use a little container with a tight fitting lid and put a few beans or some rice in that container and it will shake just fine. The second thing we're going to need is a scarf. We're gonna be using a scarf for one of the songs that we're doing today. But if you don't have a scarf in your house, that's okay. You can also use a tea towel or a dishcloth or a washcloth, any of those things would work. Well, I think it's time to sing our hello song. And today our hello song is going to be Ickity Bickity Bumblebee. And this one goes like this. Ickity Bickity Bumblebee, won't you say your name for me? Rena, Rena, that's a very nice name. But since I don't know the names of everybody who's here with me today, I came up with a new way that we can do this song. We can play it as a game. So let's start by clapping our hands. Ickity bickity bumblebee, won't you clap your hands with me? Clap, clap, that's a very fun game. Ooh, what else can we do with baby? We could stomp baby's feet. So if baby is just laying on the ground in front of you, you can stomp baby's feet up and down. Or if your baby is big enough that they can stand and stomp their feet themselves, stand up and stomp your feet, ready? Ickity bickity bumblebee, won't you stomp your feet with me? Stomp, 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 that's a very fun game. You know, another thing that babies can do is they can stretch. We can help them stretch their arms or stretch their legs. So let's try that one. Ickity bickity bumblebee, won't you stretch your arms with me? Stretch, stretch, that's a very fun game. Oh, I have another one that's really fun. So let's do peekaboo. Ickity bickity bumblebee, won't you peekaboo with me? Peekaboo, peekaboo, that's a very fun game. And let's do one last one. Let's tickle baby's tummy. Ickity bickity bumblebee, won't you tickle your tummy for me? Tickle, tickle, that's a very fun game. I have another tickle rhyme that we can do with babies. We're gonna pick baby up. This one's called butterfly kiss. So I'm gonna take off my glasses because to do a butterfly kiss, we need our eyelashes. A butterfly kiss goes like this. And we're gonna do our eyelashes on their cheek. A ice cream kiss goes like this. And we're gonna give baby a little lick on their cheek. <laughs> a wee willy winky kiss goes like this and we're gonna rub noses but the big bass drum kiss goes like this and we can lift up baby's shirt and we're gonna blow raspberries <gasps> let's do that one again a butterfly kiss goes like this 
an ice cream kiss goes like this. A wee willy winky kiss goes like this. But the big bass drum kiss goes like this. <gasps> The next rhyme we're gonna do is called Whoops Johnny. And this is a great one so that baby can hear their names. Babies love to hear their names repeated. And so this one's super fun. I can't really do it with my uh, stuffy because my stuffy doesn't have fingers. So I'm gonna set my stuffy aside and I'm just gonna do it on my own fingers. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say baby and I'd like you instead to do this on baby's fingers and repeat your baby's name. So it goes like this, baby, 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 whoops, baby, whoops, baby, 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 baby. Let's try that one one more time. So saying your baby's name instead of baby. Baby, 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 whoops, baby, whoops, baby, 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 baby. Now this is one that we can also use with baby to teach them other people's names. So we can teach them mommy and daddy or auntie, uncle. And I especially like this one because say you're FaceTiming with grandma or grandpa or an aunt, this is one you can do with them while they're looking at their face and you can say the name of the person that they are looking at. So like grandma, let's try that. Grandma, 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 whoops. Grandma, whoops, grandma, 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 grandma. Yay! And now we'll do it one last time with whoever is doing this rhyme with baby right now. So if it's mommy or daddy or nanny, let's do your name. So I'm gonna do auntie because I'm gonna be an auntie. Auntie, 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 whoops, auntie, whoops, auntie, auntie, auntie. Yay! Good job. So now we're going to do row, row, row your boat. I'm going to grab my baby again and we're going to put baby in front of us and we're going to rock back and forth. The nice thing about this is lots of face to face and baby can see your expressions. So really looking at baby and taking the time to bond in that way, really great. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream merrily 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 life is but a dream now we're gonna rock our boats rock 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 your boat gently down the stream if you see a crocodile don't forget to scream ah let's row our boats again Row, row, row your boat gently to the shore. If you see a lion, don't forget to roar. roar. Let's rock our boats again. Rock, rock, rock your boat gently to and fro. If you do it hard enough, over the side you'll go. All right, so we lift up baby right at the end there and we kind of tip them a little bit and that's a fun thing and a fun thing for them to anticipate. This song that we're going to do next is called Shake Your Eggs and Stop. So let's grab our egg shakers. I've got mine. So we'll put the egg shaker in baby's hand and um, part of the stopping motion helps them learn that intrinsic self-control which can be very very hard but it's okay if they have a hard time stopping on their own and this time if you have a little one who is small enough that you're going to help them control it you'll be able to stop the motion if they're holding the egg shaker themselves and they're unable to stop that's okay as well so this one goes like this shake your eggs and stop shake your eggs and stop Shake your eggs and shake your eggs and shake your eggs and stop. Ooh, let's tap our eggs. Tap your eggs and stop. Tap your eggs and stop. 
Tap your eggs and tap your eggs and tap your eggs and stop. Roll your eggs and stop. Roll your eggs and stop. Roll your eggs and roll your eggs and roll your eggs and stop. Ooh, let's try going up and down. Up and down and stop. Up and down and stop. Up and down and up and down and up and down and stop. Oh, how about we go fast? Shake real fast and stop. Shake real fast and stop. Shake real fast and shake real fast and shake real fast and stop. Shake it slow and stop. Shake it slow and stop. Shake it slow and shake it slow and shake it slow and stop. Yay! Good job. We're going to do one more song with our egg shakers, and this one is called Shake, Shake, Shake Your Eggs, and it goes like this. Shake, shake, shake your eggs, shake it up and down. Shake it fast and shake it slow. It makes a lovely sound. Shake, shake, shake your eggs. Shake it on your nose, shake it on your tummy, and shake it on your toes. Shake, shake, shake your eggs, shake it on your hips. Can you touch your hips? Shake it on your shoulders, and shake it on your lips. Yay! So that one's really great because it helps baby to learn the different parts of their body as you go through the song. So let's try that one one more time. Shake, shake, shake your eggs, shake it up and down. Shake it fast and shake it slow. It makes a lovely sound. Shake, shake, shake your eggs, shake it on your nose. Shake it on your tummy and shake it on your toes. Shake, shake, shake your eggs, shake it on your hips. Oh, shake it on baby's hips. Shake it on your shoulders and shake it on your lips. Yay! All right, let's put those eggs away and we're going to do a rhyme with baby called Kissy Kissy Fingers. So I'm gonna lay my baby in front of me, but you can have baby on your lap or baby can be standing. So this one goes like this. Kissy Kissy Fingers, and we're gonna to touch baby's fingers. Kissy Kissy Toes. Kissy Kissy Baby on your Kissy Kissy Nose. I love to kiss your fingers. Now let's kiss baby's fingers. I love to kiss your toes. I love to kiss my baby on your kissy, kissy nose. Yay! Let's do that one one more time. Kissy, kissy fingers. And we're going to touch baby's fingers. Kissy, kissy toes. Kissy, kissy baby on your kissy, kissy nose. I love to kiss your fingers. I love to kiss your toes. I love to kiss my baby on your kissy, kissy nose. Yay! So I have another tickle rhyme that we're going to do with baby, and this one's called Bumblebee Bumblebee. So I have my bumblebee puppet here, and I'm going to put it on. But it's okay. You can just use your fingers to do this. You don't have to have a bumblebee puppet. Let's start with our puppet or our hand hidden behind our back. And our rhyme goes like this. Bumblebee, bumblebee, come out of the barn with a bag full of honey under each arm. Bzzz. And we're gonna tickle baby under each arm. Bzzz. Good job. Let's try that one one more time. Let's hide our bumblebees. Bumblebee, bumblebee, come out of the barn 
with a bag full of honey under each arm. Bzzz, bzzz. Yay! The next rhyme we're gonna do is Little Bo Peep. So I'm gonna grab my scarf because we're gonna use a scarf for this rhyme. So we're gonna be hiding our scarf when the sheep disappear. So like this, little Bo Peep has lost her sheep. Oh, I'm gonna put it in my pet bag. And doesn't know where to find them. Leave them alone and they'll come home, wagging their tails behind them. So a fun thing is you can also hide the sheep in babies pants or under baby's shirt or behind baby's back. So let's try putting baby on my lap this time. We're going to hide our sheep behind baby's back. Little Bo Peep has lost her sheep oh, and doesn't know where to find them. Leave them alone and now come home wagging their tails behind them. Yay! Let's try that one one more time. Little Bo Peep has lost her sheep oh, and doesn't know where to find them. Leave them alone and they'll come home wagging their tails behind them. Yay! Now we're going to do a song called Swing Me Over the Water and we're going to start with the scarf and then we'll do it with baby in our, in our arms. But we will start holding the scarf um, and if you have an older baby, the nice thing is to have your baby hold on to the corners of the scarf and put one of their toys, uh, let's see, something nice and soft like this in the middle of the scarf. And then you're going to swing it back and forth together. And we're going to sing like this. Swing me over the water, swing me over the sea. Swing me over the garden wall, but swing me home for tea. I'm going to put my stuffy back on because it wasn't supposed to have fallen off. And then we are going to go one, two, three, whee! And throw the stuffy or whatever's in the middle of the scarf up into the air. So hence why it needs to be something soft, something that's not going to hurt anybody. So that's how we do it with a scarf with an older child but I'm also going to show you how we're gonna do it with baby. So if baby is small, we can do this with baby in our arms. Swing me over the water, swing me over the sea, swing me over the garden wall, but swing me home for tea. One, two, three, Next, we're going to do a bouncing rhyme. This one is called Mother and Father and Uncle John. So we're going to put baby on our lap and we're just going to bounce baby up and down. Mother and father and Uncle John went to town one by one. Mother fell off, uh-oh. Father fell off, uh-oh. But Uncle John went on and 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 on. And you can bounce them as long as you want with that last part. But let's try that one more time. Mother and father and Uncle John went to town one by one. Mother fell off. Oh no. Father fell off. Uh oh. But Uncle John went on and 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 on. Yay! The next song we're going to do with baby is called It Ain't Gonna Rain No More. And I am going to lay my baby in front of me on the ground. But you can have your baby sitting on your lap. Or if your little one is big enough to stand, you can have them stand and have them help you point to the body parts. So the song goes like this. It ain't gonna rain no more, no more. It ain't gonna rain no more. Oh no, it's up to my toes. 
but it ain't gonna rain no more. It ain't gonna rain no more, no more. It ain't gonna rain no more. Oh, gee, it's up to my knee. But it ain't gonna rain no more. It ain't gonna rain no more, no more. It ain't gonna rain no more. Oh, fiddle, it's up to my middle. But it ain't gonna rain no more. It ain't gonna rain no more, no more. It ain't gonna rain no more. Ah, oh, heck, it's up to my neck. But it ain't gonna rain no more. It ain't gonna rain no more, no more. It ain't gonna rain no more. Oh dear, it's up to my ears. So I just better swim on home. Let's swim. Let's do one more rhyme with baby that points out their body parts. This time I'm gonna lift baby onto my lap and this one is called This Is Me and it goes like this. This is me from my head to my toes. I have two little eyes and one little nose. I can wiggle my fingers. I can stomp my feet from my head to my toes. I'm pretty neat. Should we try that one one more time? This is me from my head to my toes. I have two little eyes, one, two, and one little nose. Ooh. I can wiggle my fingers. I can stomp my feet from my head to my toes. I'm pretty neat. While we have baby sitting here on our lap, let's do one last bounce called Aka Baka Soda Cracker, like this. Aka Baka Soda Cracker, Aka Baka Boo. Aka Baka Soda Cracker, up goes you. Wee! Aka Baka Soda Cracker, Aka Baka Boo. Aka Baka Soda Cracker, I love you. And we're gonna give baby a hug. Let's try that one again with baby facing us. Aka baka soda cracker, aka baka boo. Aka baka soda cracker, up goes you. Wee! Aka baka soda cracker, aka baka boo. Aka baka soda cracker, I love you. And we're gonna give baby another hug. Oh yeah, perfect. All right, well, thank you so much for joining me today for baby lap time. Now it's time to sing goodbye. And we're gonna sing goodbye and do some actions. Everybody clap and sing goodbye. Everybody clap and sing goodbye. Everybody clap and sing goodbye. Sing goodbye, goodbye. Can you stop your feet? Everybody stomp and sing goodbye. Everybody stomp and sing goodbye. Everybody stomp and sing goodbye. Sing goodbye, goodbye. How about waving? Everybody wave and sing goodbye. Everybody wave and sing goodbye. Everybody wave and sing goodbye, sing goodbye, goodbye.